I look really ratchet, but that's fine. It's fine. I think I'm breaking out because I keep putting my hand on my face and stuff. So, yeah, and um, just, I think I'm about to do my period. I've been having cramps, so, you know. Also, do you guys like my little new setup? Funny, um, my ring light broke, but I have another light, so it's fine. And I actually like the way that the other light looks better. I think I have another one, but I don't know where it went. I'm gonna need to get ready with me. I'll probably, I'll probably, um, music over, speed up some parts. Whatever. I'm gonna be using products that are I'm gonna be using products that are new to me. They might not be new on the market in general, but they're new to me. So yeah. Um, and do you like my cheap ass shirt? I was gonna paint over my fake nails because I'm gonna probably take them off soon, even though I don't want to. I kind of have to in every way. So whatever. But um, I was gonna paint them black, and then I was like, no, this pink looks so good. Like. <laughs> so um yeah i'm just gonna get started now i'm gonna do while i'm doing my makeup um it was awesome because i love ulta because they have the best rewards points spending 11 11 for getting these three because this thing was i thought it was on sale and then when she rang up it was expensive so i was like and then but with the rewards points it was cheap as hell it's the noonie it's some Japanese brand. It's made in Korea, but it's distributed from San Francisco, California. So that's cool. I have this thing that I found. My vanity's a little bit of a mess right now. God damn it. It's out of focus have this thing that I absolutely love like you can see I've used the crap out of it and I, I'm the type to buy lip balms or I used to be and like not use them because I just guess I don't really like them that much this is so amazing it's like better than Vaseline all the car makes all that stuff it's um natural lip balm by absolute New York which is an amazing brand like that's an amazing brand from what I've seen um and it's the beeswax ultra conditioning lip balm i love anything that says like has bee stuff in it which probably isn't good considering the fact i'm like save the bees but i don't know if that harms them using stuff from them it probably does but i love stuff with the bee stuff in it because i feel like it's good for the skin okay um called the water blending lip oil this thing and since i'm gonna run out of that soon i was like why not see buckthorn oil with apple water On this on I haven't used this yet it smells a little bit weird if you like really sniff it but you only need like a little bit and it's like soaked onto the brush like mint and a fall day yes this shit this shit's legit it's like nothing I've ever used before is that weird it doesn't feel sticky either. It's like it's really moisturizing. Oh my god. I need to do my foundation first. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. It's a little bit too dark for me. I got this months and months ago. Like I don't even remember. But um I mix it with this Manic Panic Dream Tone Vegan Flawless Foundation in color corrector. So it's just a white foundation. I mix it with this to make this a little bit lighter. This is really good, so you don't need that much, but what I do is I just has like this little spatula thing the foundation just put it on the back of my hand um I just made a heart oh that's so weird I just I've been seeing hearts finding hearts in food seeing them in random ass places when I decide to like just drive random places it's so weird I'm like Ugh. so then I just mix it up on the back of my hand like it's some paint and then um it still looks a little bit dark but we're gonna work with it because I need a little bit of color anyway. 
gonna use the Morphe M439. Do you see how flawless it looks though? Like, I'm just like, what? The back of this hand. Most of it just. So now um, that I got my foundation on, I do, you should do your foundation and then your concealer or corrector next. So I'm just going to take the Bobbi Brown um, corrector, mine's in light to medium bisque, and it's just like a pink color. I some on my finger, try and warm it up because this is a little bit old, I've had it. Like this thing lasts forever, but as you can see, like this stuff is good. Like. This is the best corrector I've ever used personally and I feel like I don't really want to try any others. Just because it's just perfect, it lasts a long time and it works. I feel like good correctors are kind of hard to come by. I've wanted to try the Becca one, but probably won't. I don't know. Maybe I'll go in store and try it, but yeah. Instead of just buying it. But um, yeah, I'm just going to pat this in. And then um, I'm gonna set it all with my MAC Skin Finish Natural, which is just their powder, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking the Balm La Bomba Volume 1 palette and just using Flamenco right here. Darkish, not really taupe, but like kind of like no, it's not like taupe. It's just like a summer color that I would use all over my lid. But it's not summer, but it just looks kind of smoky, and it's kind of what I want to go for. Like a natural smoky look, so. Um, I'm just going to take this. Sometimes I like to use a just fluffy brush to apply color on my lid. Brush and just blending the edges out a little. I don't really want to blend the actual eyeshadow out because I don't want to brush the color away. But I'm gonna blend the edges because this look a little blunt, a little crazy. So yeah taking my burgundy shadow this is the best burgundy shadow ever like i don't know i really want the morphe 350 palette i feel like everybody has it i think they just came out with the second edition but i really want it probably not gonna get it because the jump broke broke what do you mean so i'm probably not going to get it but if somebody would just like buy it for me like that would be cool anyway so this is a vanity palette by wet n wild um it's really old lost the top it's so old but i'm still gonna use it um and i'm gonna take the burgundy shade and i'm just gonna put it on my upper lash line smudge it underneath so this brush set is like a snake um and if you want so basically it's gonna kind of be like an eyeliner i don't really want to do like a winged liner today so i'm just gonna like smudge it up top I have hazel eyes so I like the burgundy and then the um, tan shade on the lid and the burgundy kind of accentuating around the eyes did you see that mm. Mm. So now I'm using the Kiss All Natural One Lashes. I ordered these off Amazon like so long ago, but <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to use them. They're like how they said, they're really, they're really natural, so that's good. Um, anyway, I'm going to put these on off camera. Cause it's just a little bit too much for me, but um, I'm, I still have a few more steps I want to do, and I'll show you guys. 
Okay, so um, now I'm using, I put the lashes on. They're natural, but they're like my favorite. I got compliments on them. They look, they just look so good. They're my favorite. Um, and I'm using the e.l.f. brow pencil. I was like, this one's in taupe. Taupe. That's what I get, even though I'm not like blonde. Taupe just looks the best. It's like kind of gray and like my hair doesn't know what color it wants to be, so the color of my Anastasia one and it was just sitting out at Ulta and it's cheap as fuck it's elf so I was like okay and it has a spoolie like what the hell elf is so good I'm hoping this is oh my god it looks good it looks good so I'm gonna use this brow pencil I've been using powder for a while MAC eyeshadow over my brows but I don't feel like doing that right now it's a new, uh, new favorite brow pencil what what Oh my god. This is from e.l.f. you guys. It's like three dollars. What the fuck? There. And the Anastasia. Oh my god. Y'all, I'm freaking out. Oh my god. And it's like the perfect like thickness as my brows. Bitch. Cause the Anastasia one is like so thin. So this probably has more product too. Okay, my eyebrow looks a little bit fucked up. <laughs> Trim a little bit of this brow cause it's really thick, but. Oh my God, do you see this? Like. You guys, elf. Fucking, <gasps> fucking elf. Who fucking knew, right? Oh my god. I sound like HRH collection. The YouTuber with the jewelry company. <laughs> Who fucking knew, right? <laughs> um, it's kind of like the theme of the tutorial. Like kind of fall. Um, this is Costa Riche by MAC. Again, great for hazel eyes. Waterline. Just to bring the eyes out even a little bit more. And then with the eyeshadow I used under here, like set the eyeliner so it doesn't go anywhere. This eye look. This is like the best eye look I've done. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm actually not using my tripod. I'm using like a stool, but it's weird because the stool moves. So it's kind of like convenient as fuck. And it's literally kind of like a tripod, but not a tripod. And I'll have better lighting in the next video. Um, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, that's pretty much it. I just added bronzer. Um, I really loved the eye pencil i mean the eyebrow pencil from elf amazing honestly better than anastasia and the eye look was so simple and just looks so nice i'm not wearing any highlighter because i'm breaking out and i really just don't feel like highlighter would look good right now but i'm gonna straighten my hair and um yeah that's pretty much it i hope you liked the video if you did you want to see more tutorials because I'm getting good at makeup again, better at makeup. I am loving makeup again. So yeah, if you want to see more tutorials, make sure you give this a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.